back at it again and there have been a lot of um claims that the orange man is the r word and he's this really hateful guy right well i came across these two videos that i'm going to be showing you guys today that are absolutely fantastic but before we get into those uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and if you are not subscribed to the channel already hit that subscribe button down below and join the family all right join the family okay and if you're not following me on social media all of those links are down below in the description box instagram twitter truth social discord server all of that good stuff is down below and with that being said let's dive in trump is so racist how can you support him oh well. Hold on, hold on. Mm, must have, you're probably right. Let me, let me see, let me see. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. So are you talking about the 1994 crime bill that he passed and actually created more mass incarceration, especially against blacks? Is that what you were, the, oh, oh no, I'm sorry, that was by you. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about because he was friends with Robert Byrd the KKK member that he wrote the eulogy for, that's what you're talking about. That's that's what we're talking about, right? Oh, no, wait. That was bite. I know, I know. So it's because when he said poor kids are just as bright as white kids, that's, uh, that was also biting. Uh, okay, okay. So you ain't black if you don't vote for yeah that that's not him either uh okay uh i think i got it now i got it uh oh uh oh okay so when uh -oh. he actually said it's not fair for white kids to go to inferior schools oh, darn it yeah no that was biden too um okay okay uh something something let me see um Unless we do something about this, my children will grow up in a jungle. Ugh, that was also Biden. I give up. I do. Mighty ironic, huh? The one that they call the R word. Hmm. Can't really think of much. Just a bunch of made up fluff. But the one that is actually in power. Uh, he's the one that said all of this stuff. Well, I'll be there. What do you know? You know, it's, cra it's crazy that mainstream media doesn't touch on any of that at all. I have yet to see MSNBC talk about it, CNN talk about it, and CNN's supposed to be uh, moving closer towards the middle. I would assume a fair news channel would talk about him calling black kids roaches, right? The racial jungle. All of that stuff Biden has said in the past, the eulogy, like she mentioned. Hmm. It's quite interesting how all of that has been. See, and it, this, this is why I say none of these shows don't ever want me to be on air because I am airing that show out with facts. Facts. Oh, you're accusing the orange man of being right. But what about when Biden called black kids roaches? Why, why haven't y'all talked about that? <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm going to say it fast so that, like, they can't, like, interrupt me. Because, you know, on those types of shows, uh, they, they, they like to interrupt someone when, when they're making a point just to try to yell over them. So I'm going to say it fast before they catch on to what it is that I'm saying. Oh, man. See, I, I, I got it all figured out. I got it all figured out. Come on. But I've got another video that I want to show you guys as well. Uh, check this one out. Democrats won't like this. No, I can't say that either. I ain't never heard of him being racist prior to running, the pr running for president. Bingo! That's just me, though. I mean, because any two ways... Hold on, hold on, hold on. But before she even continues, y'all remember the video that I put out? This is probably two months ago now. It was a video of... It was a compilation of a bunch of rappers and other celebrities endorsing you-know-who? Trump. But as soon as he ran for president as a Republican, oh my goodness, he's the worst guy on this planet. Who let this guy in here? What? Y'all were just praising him. But now all of a sudden, get this BS out of here, man. Let's continue on. As you look at it, the man won his presidency without the black vote. What he needed for? 
What he need us for? Tell me what he need me for. He don't need me. But for some reason, he always get up on that stage talking about how low black unemployment is. Because he legitimately cares. You never heard Obama get on stage talking about black. And then uh, the black congressional caucus didn't, didn't stand up and applaud. And, you know, I, I found that to be a fraud. Complete fraud. Black congress. Yo, we, 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 we celebrate black. Man. They, they celebrate Democrats. That should be, it should just be called the, the Democrat Congressional Caucus or whatever it's called because they don't care about black people in general. They care about black Democrats. Democrats. I believe there's a, 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 a Latin one as well for, for Latin folks because uh, I want to say my, Mayora Flores had tweeted something out about how uh, she had applied to be the speakers some something if, if anybody's more familiar with that I, I i wish i would have brought that up i mean i don't script a lot of these videos all right so th like this is just all off the top of the head it's just true truly how i feel you know what i mean my thoughts and my true opinions um so yeah this black congressional caucus stuff i mean come on really you're supposed to be happy that something good for black people is is going on right but oh of course not since Trump is our Republican, since he, he, he's on the other side, we can't clap. Like, they're an absolute joke. Absolute joke. Unemployment. He couldn't. Because under his first two years with a Democratic Congress, it doubled. Black unemployment under Barack Obama doubled. How many of y'all know heard Obama get on stage talking about, black, talking about how low black unemployment is? Because he legitimately cares. You never heard Obama get on stage talking about black unemployment. He couldn't because under his first two years with a Democratic Congress, it doubled. Black unemployment under Barack Obama doubled. How many of y'all know that? It doubled. Jeez. It literally doubled. It went from 8% to 16%. How you get around that? No media say nothing about that. But Donald Trump getting it to the lowest has ever been recorded. Like I said, he don't need us. He does not need the black vote. The black vote didn't put him in office. The black vote ain't going to take him out of office. But the fact that he gets up there on them stages every chance he get and tells us how we are doing because we, I ain't going to say that, we too crazy to realize it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to do that. He ain't, he ain't got to get up there when he was running for president. He didn't have to get out there talking about, um, what do you have to lose? Vote for me. <laughs> he didn't have to do that. But he did. And we grateful that he did. You know, it's some smart folks out there that happen to be darker skinned like me. Mm hmm. You just got to find them. <laughs> See, a lot of them scared to say something because they scared somebody going to say something back to me. I'm a step. <laughs> What's up? You got something said about Donald Trump? What? I ain't got no MAGA hat. My damn head too damn big to be trying to wear a MAGA hat. So I can't wear no MAGA hat I know where. But I got a MAGA sweater in there that I wear. I wore it to work. Nobody said nothing. I'm a big old bitch. They better not say nothing. So yeah, yeah. don't you just love it? Don't you love it when people actually speak the truth? When the truth is actually put out into the light? <laughs> And these leftists can't just spew out a bunch of lies all the time, which is why they're panicking still about the Twitter acquisition by Elon Musk. I mean, they're they're trying to throw anything and everything on this man's name that they possibly can even think of. Uh, I think the latest thing uh, was that he was a, a QAnon uh, part. He was he was a part of QAnon or something like uh, what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> They are literally causing the downfall of their own party. It is glorious to watch the way that they panic and are like floundering like fish out of water. Just, oh my goodness. Elon purchased Twitter. Oh my goodness. We can't continue to lie. We only, oh man, what are we going to do? What are we, investigate him for a uh, 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 threat to the nation, okay? He, he, he's a threat to the nation. We can't have people out here telling the truth. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying. We can't have people out here telling the truth to the population. We can't have a free flow of ideas and thoughts. It's dangerous. <laughs> 
Dangerous to who? <laughs> I need to. I, I might. I might make a compilation of all of these leftist media members and just leftists in general all panicking, floundering like fish out of water. Now that Twitter isn't under their authoritarian control, right? <laughs> they can't censor anyone and everyone like they used to on Twitter. <laughs> Anybody else been watching the fallout from that? Man, it's been glorious. It has been glorious. Just, mwah, mwah, just beautiful to watch. Beautiful. Beautiful. All of these, all of these crazy theories. And, 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 and they say they say someone like Elon Musk is a conspiracy theorist. They're the conspiracy theorists coming up with all these crazy ideas. <laughs> Man, oh man, are things getting out of hand for them. Sheesh, Louise, I love to see it, though. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, shout out to these ladies here in this video, man. It was absolutely fantastic to watch and hear people speak the truth like the first lady. She was like, um, you know, the question was, well, how, how could you support the orange man? He, he's the R word. Oh, really? Well, you mean, you mean when he talked about racial jungles and his kids... Oh, no, that, that was actually Biden. <laughs> I just thought these videos were absolutely fantastic, man. But y'all let me know what you thought about them in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love, family. I'm out.